Hello there. I hope you're having an amazing July 5th and I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy, crazy life to be prayed for every day and to hear the word of God, which ultimately transforms our lives. This podcast is brought to you by Faithful Counseling. And um, I've had the opportunity to be a part of that and to be counseled by two uh, different counselors. And uh, one of the things that I found really interesting was just being able to try out different ones and there's no penalty for that. If someone's not working for you, you can just move to another one. This is all online, so you don't have to go in anywhere, and it's affordable. You can get 10% off at getfaithful.com slash pray every day. We are in Acts chapter 9. We're still in Acts chapter 9, and it's a long chapter. In verses 32 through 35 in the voice translation, this is what it says. Peter hadn't been idle during all this time. He was having a number of amazing experiences of his own, traveling from group to group and visiting the various communities of believers. Once he came to a town called Lydda, a border town between Samaria and Judea, and met with God's special people there. He visited a man named Aeneas. This poor fellow had been paralyzed for eight years, unable to leave his bed. Peter said, Aeneas, Jesus the anointed heals you. Get up. Now you can make your own bed. And immediately he got up. All the local residents, both in Lydda and nearby Sharon, saw Aeneas healthy and strong again. So they turned to the Lord. Mind if I pray for you. Lord Jesus, I lift up those people today who are hurting, who are paralyzed, who are battling a heart condition, who are diabetic, who um, are battling a mental illness that's kind of taken over their lives. Uh, Their shalom is not quite there, that well-being and that peace that you provide. And so, Lord, for those who are sick today, those who battle insomnia, that's me, (laughs) battle it far too much, Um, I pray for respite. I pray for rescue. I pray for healing. I pray for those who are enduring cancer treatments, that you would help their bodies to fight back that cancer and to withstand the chemotherapy and the radiotherapy that they're experiencing, the radiation therapy. Lord, I pray that, um, I pray against discouragement, Lord. I know that when, um, when I am the most discouraged, it's usually when I'm sick. And so, Lord, I pray that you would lift the heads of those who are struggling today because of chronic illness. I pray, Lord, that you would help them to see you in the midst of it and in the unrelenting pain of it, Lord, help them to find you. I do pray for deliverance from that pain. I do pray for eradication of disease. I do pray for miracles like the ones that you did through Peter and Aeneas. Lord, I do because I know that you're big enough to do that. Lord, I also know that I don't know what the outcome will be. I also know that I cannot control the future and I don't have magic prayer words to make everyone healed. And Lord, there are things in my own life that are not yet healed. And so Lord, teach us also to keep eternity in mind, that there will be a day when we um, no longer have those tears. We no longer have sickness and pain and death and weeping and grief. There will be a time when we are made whole. So during that time when we're persevering through pain and trial and sickness and we are tasting death sometimes, Lord, help us to have that eschatological mindset to look forward to what will come, that there will be that day um, where everything will be made right, that perfect love that will cast out all the fear that we have today. And Lord, I pray, I've been prompted to pray for this lately, is just I've been praying for um, those who are fearful and worrisome, and I pray that you would lift that fear right now in Jesus' name. I pray that you would lift the worry in Jesus' name. You say that you will carry our burdens. Lord, you say that um, you will make our burdens light, and so we joyfully give you our worry and our fear as an offering to you and ask that you would carry it for us. It is weighing us down, and it's not doing anything good for us. And so, Lord, we pray, oh, please, Jesus, just take that burden. Empower us to have faith instead of fear, trust instead of turmoil. I pray all of this in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen.
Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. And again, thank you for taking time out of your day to be prayed for and to read and listen to the book of Acts. It's been so fun to read um, all of the amazing things that are going on as the church expands around the world in this great book. So I pray it's been a blessing to you as much as it's been just heartening for me. 